Hello there. All right, so this video is inspired by a post I saw on a local bass player's website. Now, the person who posted this might have just been facetious, and he may be the, or joking, and he may be the a freaking phenomenal bass player, but he asked, what are some things I can do to uh, strengthen up my pinky? And then brings up the question that if you're playing bass and you're not using your pinky on your fretting hand, you might want to start doing it, and here's why. The bass is a large instrument, and if you don't have the largest of hands, you're going to be set up to play very well in a 3 fret range, especially down low on the neck towards the headstock. If I try to stretch this out, look at how uncomfortable my hand looks. If I try to go first finger on the first fret, ring finger on the third fret, but if I use the pinky, well it just creates so much more reach. So I kind of look at it most of the time when I play that I'm playing with the first finger, the middle finger, and then the pinky. And the ring finger is kind of there to help that pinky out. So if I were to play, I don't know, like uh, the riff for Vaseline by Stone Temple Pilots, where it is an F to a G. Something like that. I haven't played it. Gosh, I probably haven't played that since the 90s. Right, that's what's one way it helps out. Um... If you're running a pentatonic scale, it can help out. So say I'm doing A minor pentatonic. So instead of going pinky and then trying to do the ring, which you can do, but I feel a lot of strain in my hand when I do this. So I'll just kind of use my pinky, fifth fret to the eighth fret. And then on the next three strings, I'll play fifth fret to the seventh fret and just shrink that pinky back in. Or I could do this all within a groove range, a three fret range, and say I go pinky, index, pinky, pinky, index, pinky. Or pinky, index, index. Right? Or you think of the song My Girl. So another place you can use this is on perfect fifths. If you're playing country songs, or you're playing a Motown groove. Here I'm playing a C note and it's perfect fifth, which is one string towards the ground, two frets towards the body. I'm going to use the pinky on the fifth fret of string two, which is a G note, the perfect fifth of that C at the third fret of the A string. Right, so if I use my pinky there, I can just groove between that. Now when I use that pinky, I'm actually shifting the weight of my hand to the pinky. And then shifting it over to the index. So it's almost like a teeter-totter. I'm going to over-exaggerate it. But I'm just doing it very subtly. And speaking of pentatonics and my girl... Right, I don't think the bass plays this in the song, but it's a good example of then I'm going to be in a 3 fret range, C, D, E, I'm going to stretch that index finger out just temporarily. Pinky stays at the 5th fret for that G note, C, D, E, G, A, C. Or if I'm rocking on a C chord. Using the pentatonic major scale. And I've learned this from watching bass players who sound amazing, but their left hand looks like it's doing nothing. It's because they're using that groove range, and when they have to, they'll stretch out. They kind of stay mainly within a 3 fret range. Um, this also works for playing octaves. So I'm playing this G, 3rd fret of the 4th string. Then 1, 2 strings towards the ground, 2 frets towards the body, I find an octave. Right? A good exercise too would be to do like a running pentatonic scale riff like low rider. F. Or something with chromatics like I Wish by Stevie Wonder. 
moves around it just it doesn't look like I'm doing a whole lot it just looks like my hands just kind of gliding up and down um, it's also worse for playing uh, root fifth in country let's say I'm playing a G to the C back to G D no, I didn't do that right so I go G root fifth octave like uh, I'll use the pinky here on the octave or I might use the pinky on the fifth in the octave and just roll it over this comes in handy on say what well, Christmas just ended so I would use it on To do is hammer on some pull offs a whole step apart from each other. Maybe we'll do like Cake Song. short skirt lawn jacket so long story short that pinky is so useful um, when you play the bass or let's say I do an octave and then a tenth above it minor tenth major tenth kind of stole that sort of from a band I used to play with in North Carolina um, but again, I'm going to try to keep this short, but use your pinky. So unless your pinky is like mangled, um, non-functioning, non-existent, use it to your advantage. That's my pep talk. Um, I found this helpful. I got other bass videos, guitar. If you want to check out more things on the page or like and share this or send me a million bazillion dollars. But anyways, thanks for checking this out. Have fun while you play, challenge yourself to use your pinky, and come see me for some more. Take care.